Somewhere in the Yellow Sea off the west coast of Korea, fireflies and sea furies aboard the aircraft carrier HMS Glory are loaded with 500 pounders for an attack behind enemy lines. Zero hour is fast approaching, so the bombs are fused up. A Newcastle man, George Barlow, helps them get ready for action. Now the rockets are prepared. Arming a firefly with cannon shells is bearded Charles Ward from Highgate. The full details of the operation are still secret, but the armament crews, among them Peter Meach from North Wales, ensure that the aircraft will have plenty to strike with. The pilots get the ready signal, and there's the first away. Not a moment is lost to get them all airborne. Deck crews buffeted by the blast from the propeller fix the catapult device. Number three is ready for takeoff. As Glory's aircraft head towards the battle zone, United Nations troops go into action, blasting enemy positions. A tank is hit and the crew scatter to cover. To give ground troops extra cover as they move into close quarters, aircraft lay smoke screens. is over and back come the planes. Once again, pilots report, target destroyed. But tomorrow, these men, like Lieutenant Graham Foster from Hertfordshire and Lieutenant John McCandless, whose home is in Scotland, will be out to find, fix and strike.